Rob continues to win victories against the Lannister army and earns the nickname, the Young Wolf, for his ferocity in battle. He keeps Jaime under guard in his camp to confound attempts to free him, stating that although he trusts his men with his life, Jaime's life is another matter. He receives a letter from Stannis Baratheon, detailing that Joffrey, Marcella and Tom and Baratheon are the incestuous bastards of Cersei and Jaime. He tells Jaime of this information, who scorns the prospect, reflecting on how convenient this word be for Stannis if it were true. When Jaime insults Rob's youth, Rob rebuts by bringing Grey Wind into the cage and remarking that he Jaime insults himself, as Rob has defeated Jaime and may even kill him. Despite his threats, he leaves Jaime alive. As the son of Tywin Lannister, there are multiple options in which to use him which would be beneficial to the Northern cause. Rob sends his prisoner Alton Lannister to King's Landing with peace terms. Rob sends deliberately disagreeable terms to Queen Regent Cersei to waste her time. His demands include the release of his sisters, the return of his father's remains along with the remains of all those who served him, and the recognition of the North as a free and independent kingdom. The terms are rejected as expected. Theon appeals to Rob to send him to Pike to seek an alliance with his father citing their need for a fleet in order to attack King's Landing. Catelyn counsels against putting trust in Balan because of Greyjoy rebellion. She asks Rob to consider exchanging Jaime for his sisters. She then asks to return to her younger sons at Winterfell, but Rob tasks her with seeking an alliance with Renly, and sends Sir Roderick instead to Winterfell. Catelyn remarks on the fact that Renly has now declared himself King of the Andals, and how there is now an excess of kings in Westeros. Rob wins a crushing victory against a Lannister reinforcement host, led by Stafford Lannister, at the Battle of Oxcross, tactfully sending Grey Wind in first to deal with the Watchmen quickly. This victory is used by the Lannisters in order to make the Northmen seem uncivilized to the south, exaggerating the use of Grey Wind in battle and portraying the Northern army as cannibals. The following day, Rob surveys the battlefield as silent sisters tend to both Stark and Lannister wounded, while his bannerman, Lord Roose Bolton of the Dreadfort, argues that they should kill all of the Lannister soldiers they took prisoner because they're having trouble supplying their own army and prisoners will slow them down. Rob disagrees, saying they will fight honorably and follow the laws of war. Bolton concedes that some of the Lannister officers might have useful information they could be tortured into revealing, but Rob refuses, not wanting to give the Lannisters an excuse to torture his sisters. Rob sees a woman battlefield healer treating a wounded Lannister soldier. The prisoner protests when she tells him she has to amputate in order to save his life. Rob helps hold him down as she soars off the leg. Introducing herself as Talisa, she criticizes Rob for the need for this war. Rob doesn't want the Iron Throne, just revenge on Joffrey for his father's death. She is shocked to learn he doesn't care which king takes the throne after they defeat Joffrey, having declared for neither of the Baratheon brothers. He just wants them to leave the North alone afterward. She points out that for all the bloodshed they have caused, he hasn't hurt the ones who killed his father, Joffrey and Tywin Lannister. The men they slaughtered were not Tywin's main army but unwilling boy soldiers and conscripts from the Westerlands. Intrigued by her, she asks where she is from. She answers Volantis. Rob attempts to compliment her, but she once again quips him on his need for revenge. Renly is killed just after agreeing to an alliance and Catelyn flees his camp to return to Rob. Renly's men swear fealty to his less agreeable brother Stannis. Rob comes across Talisa again, correctly guessing that she is a noblewoman and further flirting with her. She somewhat reciprocates. Catelyn returns to Rob's camp during their conversation. She asks Talisa about her family, to which Talisa states her family name is Mygear, which Catelyn does not recognize. Talisa then explains her Volantine origins. Catelyn warns him against pursuing Talisa, reminding of his agreement with Lord Frey. They are shocked when news arrives that Theon has betrayed Rob and attacked Winterfell. He asks Roose if there is as news on Bran and Rickon. He says not, but tells him that Roderick is dead. Rob is furious, but agrees to let Roose's bastard retake the castle. He insists that the safety of his brothers is paramount, and demands that Theon be brought before him so that he can execute him personally. Rob wins a further victory at the Battle of the Yellow Fork. His prison cells are filled to overflowing with captives. When Sir Alton returns with Cersei's rejection of his terms, Rob houses him with Jaime. Talisa asks him for help obtaining medical supplies and he invites her to accompany him to negotiate the surrender of the crag, 
suggesting that she restock from the castle stores. While Rob is gone, Jamie escapes, killing Alton and Torrin Karstark. He is recaptured, but Lord Rickard Karstark threatens to behead him to avenge Torrin. Catelyn sends her sworn sword Brienne of Tarth to exchange Jamie for her captive daughters without consulting Rob. On their way back from the crag, Rob and Talisa discuss Rob's engagement, making fun of the fact he knows nothing about her with the exception that she is from House Frey. They later discuss Rob's father Eddard Stark and the lessons he taught Rob about caring for his subjects and who will sit on the Iron Throne. Rob surmises to say that he was to win the war first, after which his first action will be killing Joffrey. They are interrupted by news that Catelyn has released Rob's key prisoner, Jamie. Rob is furious at the betrayal, and orders Catelyn kept under guard. He sends men to find Jamie, and devises a plan for Ramsay, offer mercy to Theon's men if they deliver him, so they will abandon him, allowing him to retake Winterfell with minimal bloodshed. Talisa comforts Rob, revealing more of her past. She explains that a slave saved her brother from drowning in the Rhoyne during a wedding, after which she decided she would no longer live in a slave city and would dedicate her time to others. This makes Rob emotional, forcing him to admit he does not want to marry into House Frey. Talisa confesses that she feels the same, but remarks on how Rob needed to cross the twins. They both give in to their mutual feelings and sleep together. Rob confesses his love for Talisa to Catelyn. Catelyn warns against betraying his oath to marry a daughter of House Frey. She states that she and Ned were not in love as much they were by the end but also explains that a gradual build-up of care is safer and stronger than what Rob feels for Talisa. Rob rejects her counsel, stating that she has no right to criticize him following her release of Jamie. In a secret ceremony conducted by a Septon of the Faith of the Seven, he and Talisa secretly marry.